Hi, we're going to walk through the whole process of creating a simple flight simulator using the World Unity SDK. This tutorial is also available as a step-by-step -step quick guide on our website so you can follow along at your own pace. You're going to need the Unity Editor version 2019 or 2020 and a copy of the World Unity SDK version 0.8. You'll also need a World Game Development account. If you're not already a subscriber, you can sign up for a free trial on our website to get you started. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new Unity project. We're going to use the 3D template and we'll give it a name, Flight Simulator. While Unity is starting up, um, we're going to go and retrieve a world API key from uh, the world website. Every app that you build with Worlds requires an API key to authenticate your app uh, with our services. You can create your own API keys uh, in your own account on the website and then you'll uh, copy them into the app. So we've got that in our paste buffer now ready for when we need it. So now we've got our project set up, we need to add the world SDK. And we do that by importing a custom package, selecting our Unity package, and going ahead with the import. During the import process, we'll see a couple of prompts come up. First of all, um, a reminder to go and create your API key um, if you haven't already done so, we've already got one of them. Um, if not, you can click Get Key and it'll take you to the right place on the website. We also see a prompt about shadow distances. Uh, so world maps uh, typically cover a larger range than most game environments, so we recommend increasing uh, the shadow distance setting. Okay, that's the uh, world package imported into the Unity editor. So now what we need to do is add our uh, API key uh, into the configuration. So if you look for the Unity world scene, which contains a world map object, and we can paste in our API key. Now that we've done that, that's everything that's needed to get a basic world Unity app up and running. So we can uh, press play in the editor and see what it looks like. As you can see, uh, the app's displayed uh, part of uh, San Francisco and the map is streamed in. We can move around and as we move, uh, zoom out and move to different areas, more map resources load uh, dynamically. So let's stop the app for now and we're going to save our progress. And we're going to save this uh, as its simulator scene. Okay, so now we've got our basic map. Uh, in order to turn this into a flight simulator, we need to add an aircraft. So we have a, a pre-built aircraft model and textures that we're going to use, and we're going to import that into our project um, and add it to our scene as a Unity game object. So first of all, we want to import uh, the aircraft mesh. So in the set of files that we've downloaded uh, that are available for you if you're following through as well, um, and we'll select the SpaceJet uh, Collada file and import it. And we can see that it's been uh, added to the set of project assets there. So 
So we're just going to take the uh, the mesh, which is this one here, and we're going to drag it into our scene. Uh, we'll call it uh, aircraft. It's a flight simulator, although it is a space jet model. And we're going to uh, change its default position. So we're going to set it to uh, Y500 and Z of minus 500. And so the world SDK uses meters as its units. Uh, so this is 500 meters off the ground in the Y direction and uh, 500 meters in the Z direction. So it appears correctly relative to the camera. And we're going to set uh, the scale to five in each dimension. So now when we uh, start our app, we'll see uh, the model appear in the correct position um, above our scene of San Francisco. So now we want to also add um, a texture to our model to make it appear a bit more realistic. So again, we're gonna import uh, the texture uh, file that we've got here. and we're gonna use it to uh, build a material that we're gonna to apply to our model. So here's our new material. I'm gonna call it space jet material. And then we're gonna select the texture file that we uh, imported And there we go. And finally, we just need to apply that material to the aircraft. So if we select the aircraft game object and we're gonna set it as the, uh, the material to use for the mesh renderer. Okay, so that's all set up now. And when we press play, we'll see that the uh, texture has been applied to our mesh. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to um, add some simple, uh, simple physics to make our aircraft move. Uh, so we've got a flight controller uh, script which takes inputs from the player and uses them to control the aircraft. So the first thing we need to do is to um, add a rigid body uh, so that we have, uh, so we can apply the physics uh, forces, including the forces that our controller is gonna add and also gravity. And so we just add component here um, and from the physics group, we're gonna add a rigid body. And then we're gonna add our uh, controller script. So we have a, a pre-built uh, aircraft controller script here, which we're gonna import. And we're gonna add it to the aircraft game objects. So you'll see it appears here at the bottom. There are a few parameters that you can uh, play with, like the thrust force, uh, the turn force, and the maximum speed. So this controller takes uh, input from the player, either the uh, cursor keys or WASD. So now if we start the, um, the app, we'll see that we can control our aircraft as shown and it'll fly around uh, the environment. Eventually it's gonna fly off out of scene. So the next step in the tutorial is going to be to uh, control the camera so that it follows the aircraft. So again, we've got a ready-made script uh, as a camera controller, and we're gonna import that into our project. So all the camera controller script does is it sets the camera location to follow uh, the target game object, which in this case is going to be our aircraft. 
So we're going to drag that onto the main camera. And we'll see there that it's appeared um, in the inspector. We want to set the um, object to follow to be our aircraft. And there are a few parameters, um, such as the position of the camera relative to the object um, and the, the bias, um, which tells the camera how quickly uh, to adapt to changes in the position. One final step, we need to disable the built-in world map camera controls, um, which we use to manually navigate around the map. So if we go into the world map game object, uh, there's a toggle here, use built-in camera controls. We're gonna turn that off. And so now um, the main camera is gonna be controlled by our script. So let's start. And we'll see we're now in a kind of third person view with the camera following behind our aircraft and we can fly around on the map. So we're going to finish the tutorial there. The quick guide on the website has a number of optional uh, extension exercises that you can choose to go on uh, and modify based on um, what we showed you here, such as adding your know, different locations around the world map, uh, collision detection, pickups to build the basics of a game, or modifying the aircraft behavior.